Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing how to use the NPC spawner device as I've been struggling with this for the last few days. Since it's been added, I've been messing with it. I'm still not like 100% there with it. There are still some tweaks I need to make, but I thought I would show you how to retarget and get it as close as possible because this is something that's not really that easy. So the NPC that we're going to add is Peter Griffin. Now you guys can use custom models. If you want to know how I imported Peter, then I do have a video that's linked in the description on how to import Fortnite models. So the first thing you are going to want to do is you're going to want to grab yourself a NPC spawner device, which you can get by going to Fortnite and then just typing in NPC. And the spawner device is right here. You then want to drag it into the world. And then you want to go to the side with the spawner device selected. And then you want to find this right here. You want to click here and you want to make a new one. You can call this whatever you want. We're going to call it Peter NPC. And then once you have done that, you'll see that the character goes to this like white and black character. Then what you want to do is go back to where you created that NPC. And you want to double click it to open it. Now, what we are going to do, we are just going to go for the guard. If you have created a custom NPC using verse, then you can use custom. But guard and then default behavior. And then we want to add modifiers. The only modifier we are going to customize right now is the cosmetic. If this isn't here, you just need to click plus and it should be here within the drop down menu. But we want to do custom character and then we want to retarget from Fortnite character. We want to add a new actor, which we're going to do by just clicking that. Name this to be Peter actor. Once again, this can be whatever you want it to be called. And once it's created, it should instantly open. If not, you can open it by just going to your content drawer and it should be within here. But what we want to do is we want to add and then we want to add a skeletal mesh and then click that. And then we want to go over here and just select our skeletal mesh, which in this case is Peter. So let's go and pick him. There we go. He's now imported. And then we want to go back and make sure that the character blueprint is selected to Peter. Now, I don't know if there's easier ways to do this. This is just the way that I'm doing it, which I don't know if this is the easiest or the most complicated. But it works uh, somewhat. So that is what I'm going with. And then in the IK retargeter, you want to create a new one, which you can do just by clicking the drop down menu and then clicking right there. And once again, this can be called whatever you want it to be called. Once you've created it, it should automatically select it. But if it doesn't, then you just need to select it yourself by clicking it. And then you want to open this up, which we can do just by double clicking it within the content drawer. Now you'll be given this screen, which this is where I got confused, but I figured out how to make it work, kind of. So the first thing you want to do is select the source, which I have already made the source and the source is right here. I called it target just because I was messing around with it. But we are going to start fresh just so I can show you how it's done. So what we want to do is go, we want to right click and then create a new animation retargeting IK rig. So now we've created that. This is called Peter source, but this can be called whatever you want. We want to import the Fortnite character, which is the FN mannequin, and that will import the default mannequin right here. Then on the side here, you can see that it's got all its bones. So you've got the root, the pelvis, then the arms, the legs, the face, the neck, everything like that. So what you want to do within this screen is you want to come to the side right here, make sure you have this selected and you want to add a new chain. This you want to call it, let's start with the pelvis. Once you have selected pelvis, you then want to select the start bone, which in this case is the pelvis. The end bone, we then want to be the pelvis as well. Then we want to do this again for the spine. So let's select the, or let's call it spine. Let's then add a new bone. Spine one is the start bone. Spine five is the end bone. Now, once again, this could be different depending on if you're importing a Fortnite character or a custom model, but you just got to do the same as what I'm doing here with the relevant bones. Now, the next one we're going to do is the neck and we want to find the neck. So the starting bone is neck one and the ending bone is neck two. And you can see I've now added a few others. We need to add the left arm, the right arm, the left leg and the right leg. I haven't added start or end bone, so we're going to do that now. So the right arm needs to start at the point where the upper arm is. So uh, we need to make sure this is the correct one. Uh, left arm, so that's upper arm L. 
and we need to end this at the hand L. Then right arm needs to be the same, but the right version. So upper arm R, and that goes to the uh, hand R, which is right there. And then we need to do the same with a leg, which starts at the thigh and goes all the way down to, is that the right one? Is that phi L? Yes, it is. And that goes down from phi all the way down to the ball, which if we click that, there we go. And then we need to do the right one, which is phi R and then goes down to the ball R. And that should be all of them done. So now we've done that for the source, we need to now do the same thing for a target, which in this case, if I click create new uh, retargeting IK rig, this is going to be the Peter target. And this is where we're going to import Peter Griffin, because this is now what we want to target to be different. I don't know why the shading's off. That is something we can ignore. So now every bone we created in the source, we now need to redo within the target. So first of all, we need to do pelvis and I'm not going to do all these on camera just because they're the same thing. So I've now done that and you can see that every one we have here, if I reopen the source, you can see that they're the same. So we've got pelvis, spine, neck, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. So now we have done that. I have set the same things for what we have. So the end points and the start points are just like the same as the other one. And then what we want to do is we want to save these. Once they have both been saved, we want to go back to the first thing we created, which has like this screen. And we want to select the source as the Peter source. So this is the Fortnite character. And then we want to set the target as Peter, which is Peter target. And that should now select that. You should see at the bottom here that the points have been changed. So pelvis is pelvis. You want to just make sure all these match up, which they do, which is good. And then the source, which is the Fortnite character, has got all the new bones. Whereas the target, which is the Peter Griffin, does also have all the bones. Now there are some missing and that might have to change. It depends on how well it imports over. So once we've done that, now there is a bug that I have found where you can see Peter goes extremely small. I don't understand why this happens, but once we've set the target in the source, there is a, a way we can fix this. And that is by going to the actor that we created. Now this probably ain't the best solution, but this is a way I have found around it. And you just want to select this and make it bigger. So let's make it to 50. That should be big enough. And it will create just a big version of Peter. Which if we now save that, go back to the Peter NPC. We have got the Peter we're targeting right there. We've got the Peter actor. And that is all we really need to do. We now just need to make sure everything is saved. And then we need to go back to the NPC creator and it is right there you can see peter is massive but he won't appear that big in game so if i now select this we have got the peter npc selected right there you can also adjust the other settings like spawn counts and things like that but the thing that i have just noticed we haven't given peter a texture so let's do that we need to go to the actor i believe it is the skeletal mesh yes here we go here is a texture so let's now just add one so I have now just launched a game with no errors. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up these spawners. Why did it not let me do that? Let's copy them and then let's pick them up just so we go over to the NPC spawner over here and let's place them down. There we go. So we can spawn near it. And if I now start the game, uh, he should spawn within three seconds over there. And there we go. He's a bit small. So we do need to increase the size of him still. He's shooting at me. I don't think he can hit me though. I wish there was a better way to do this. There probably is, but I'm not sure. So we're going to increase the size to 100, which that should definitely be big enough, I think. So if I save both of them and exit out of that, we now need to push the changes. The changes have now been pushed once again, and we now have even bigger Peter. So if I start the game and see, it should take a few seconds and it should spawn in. But once it spawns in, yeah, you can see that the arms, the legs work, but the arms don't. The arms need a little bit more tweaking. I've quickly just imported Peter into Blender to see if the arm error is a export error or if it's a uh, error with the retargeting. So let's make him do the get gritty. 
And yeah, okay. So the error is not a retargeting error. It's a export error. So I didn't have the arms attached to him correctly because you can see what the arms were doing within the game. They are doing within Blender as well. Now I have changed the skin to the Summit Eve skin just because Peter wouldn't work. I would get one arm working, then the other arm would break and I'd get the broken arm working, the other one would break. It was just something to do with the bones not connecting when exporting it to uh, Blender. So if I start the game, I didn't change anything. All I changed was the model. The retargeting is still exactly the same as it was with Peter. So if we spawn Eve, you can see the legs work. There is still a problem with the arms. The arms are not like exactly where they should be. So that is something we just need to tweak. And this all depends on your model. So this is the whole arm. Maybe we need to go down to thumb. So let's try that. And then the right arm. Let's go down to the thumb as well. Let's then save that. Let's go back to the uh, retargeter. And let's see if we run that. Um, yeah, that doesn't look like it's changed much. It just looks like the green has gone down a little bit more. So I've tweaked it a little bit. Let's see if this is any better. Nope, the arms are now inverted. So I think we need to move them up a little bit because I think that's where it's messing up. So I've tweaked it a little bit more and I'm getting close to it. You can see that the arms now align a little bit better. They are still quite a bit off. I will quickly just show you what I have adjusted between the clip and the last one. And if we head into the target, we just added a hand. So left hand and right hand. And this attaches to the hand and then to the thumb. I think we do need to add a few more bones to like the upper arms to make them bend correctly as they're not quite adjusting. Uh, we might be able to do that quite easily by changing this. I think I changed it too high or on one of them and not the other. So it is all about just tweaking these bones, adding some more. I've been sitting here for about half an hour and we've got close to getting it perfect, but we're not quite there. It does require a little bit more tweaking. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end this tutorial because I don't want it to be a very long one. I just want it to be a quick cover of it so you guys get a rough idea of what you can do. I will try and answer questions. If you have any, leave them in the comments and I will try and answer them. Although I don't really understand most of this, so I might not be able to answer most questions. But anyway, if you enjoyed, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another one very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.